There's nothing new about the generation gap. Rapid changes in society create a division in lifestyles between young and old. One of the newest incarnations of the generation gap is in instant messaging. As KHH-TV's Whitney Bachamp reports, a survey by the Associated Press and AOL shows young people can't live without IM, but their parents can. Can't live without instant messaging? 30% of teens say they can't imagine life without it, as opposed to only 17% of adults. Yeah, my instant message is pretty much always logged on. So even if I'm like doing homework on the computer or whatever, I'm usually talking to somebody, or I know if there's somebody there to talk to. Adults prefer to use email as a way to communicate. Almost 75% of adults who instant message still communicate with email more often. Instant messaging, or IM, is a very popular way to communicate among teens. Almost half of teens use instant messaging. This is more than twice the percentage of adults who use it. Teens also send more messages per day than adults. 20% of teens send more than 100 messages a day, compared with only 75% of adult users send fewer than 25. However, when having a serious or confidential conversation, both teens and adults prefer to use the telephone. One professor at KU attributes the IM gap to the levels of comfort with technology. A little more challenging um, uh, in the sense I've got to keep five things going in my head at the, at the same time as opposed to just, just one, which, I mean, also loses focus. Minton predicts we'll see more adults I am as they become more technologically savvy. Mm -hmm. Whitney Basham, KUJH-TV.